Hey, what's up? This is Leandro Bigetti, and you're watching LittleAlchemist.io channel. And today, we're going to look at how to do a Hello World program in Elixir. So, if you just landed on this channel, be sure to check out my introduction video, um, which has some reasoning about why I created this channel and also some background about myself. Another good resource, especially if you don't know Elixir, is the, the blog post that I made, which I'm also going to link here. Um, about three reasons why you should use Elixir. So, yeah. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna check out three things. How to install Erlang, and I'll tell you why we need to do that in the first place. How to install Elixir itself, and how to do our Hello World program, very simple. So, um, Elixir, uh, some quick background about Elixir. Um, Elixir is a functional language and it also runs on the Erlang virtual machine. And that's the reason why we need to install Erlang in the first place. So one thing I like to do is start from the Elixir website, which is elixirlang.org. And it, this is a very good website. There's there's a tons of information here about Elixir. Uh, there's tutorials, there's a lot of stuff. This is really good. Be, be sure to check it out. But for installing Elixir, um, there's this install tab, which is really well done. And if we come here, um, you'll see that there is instructions for all, you know, basically all distributions. Before that, though, like I said, number five, you can see here is installing Erlang, which we'll have to do before we install Elixir. So if we head up to number five, um, it's going to point us to the Erlang Solutions website. And the easiest way to install this is to get the pre-compiled packages that's mentioned here. Um, and so let's do exactly that. Let's open this in a different tab. You'll see we're in the Erlang Solutions website now. Um, and what we want is uh, the Erlang uh, OTP. So um, what you'll do is you'll choose here your your operational system and just basically you can get the latest i'm on the you know mac os what i did is just come here and get the latest airline which is 19.3 uh, so you do that you'll download um it'll install and you'll be good to go once you do that uh the way you can check is you can open a terminal and you can type earl And if you know you get an output that looks like this, which it says like Erlang OTP something something, then it's it's working it's working properly. All right. So once you have Erlang working, um, we can come back here and head into the distributions part of it. I'm using Mac OS, so so here the, there's two ways they suggest you install by using Homebrew or Mac ports. I'm currently using uh, Homebrew, so I just uh, basically just just do this, update my brew, and then just brew install, which is super simple to do. Also, Mac ports uh, super easy to install. You can see also that for uh, Linux distribution is pretty straightforward. You either just have to use your package manager to to install the package itself. Like in Arch Linux, for instance, it'll just resolve the dependencies for you and and, and it's already available in, in Pacman. Um, OpenSUSE and Ubuntu, you need to uh, add the external repo. So for instance, if you come here to Ubuntu, um, you'll see that you have to add the Erlang uh, Solutions repo, then you're able to, to uh, install Erlang and you can, yeah. And then you can actually install Elixir already from, from, um, from the package, which is super cool. Yeah. So I guess in, 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 uh, in Ubuntu, you don't even need to, to go to the Erlang and download the binaries. You can get it through packaging. Yeah. So yeah, um, also for Windows, it's super straightforward. There's just an installer and you just next, 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 finish. It's going to get you a, a working installation. So be sure to check it out if you have any, they, they, they have some other details here um, about if you have issues, what, what you can do. But 
but check this out the, 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 it's very very straightforward to install um, yeah okay so again once you have elixir installed what you can do is come to the terminal and type in elixir minus v which if it's working it's gonna get you a similar um, output again erlang and then elixir version right um yeah all right so if you got to this point things are working so we can go to our so wanted um hello world example um, you, you need a text editor, of course. You can use anything you, you'd like. I, I use uh, the Atom to, in, to program in Elixir. You can come to atom.io if you want to use that. It's open source, it's free. I really like it. It's available for all platforms. It, it's really good. So if we head over to Atom or to your favorite text editor, uh, we can just create a file and save it somewhere um let's save it to my desktop so it's super easy to retrieve and we're gonna call this hello.exs and here's a detail also elixir uh runs on two formats you can have dot ax like this and you can have dot exs like this and the s means this is an elixir script which means in practice that's not going to be compiled to a bean file, which is what the Erlang virtual machine runs. So this is a little simpler to deal with if you're getting started. So we're just going to create the hello.axs, which is the script version. <laughs> I guess Atom crashed. <laughs> All right, let's do that one more time. Hello. Oh, actually I created it. Let's open it. Ooh, Atom. Jesus. All right, so we have um, we have our Hello AXX here. Cool. So it's a one-liner in Elixir. And just a little bit more background in about functional languages in general, you usually have two primary ways of, of organizing your code, which is modules and functions, right? Modules and functions. So Elixir, of course, like any other programming language, comes with you know, the, the, the modules of the language itself. And also those modules contains functions. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the module of Elixir that deals with input and output, which is called IO. Yeah. And we're going to use the function that just outputs text or whatever, which is called puts. I believe this is really similar to Python and Ruby. And so we can just put a space after that and put a string by double quotes. And we're gonna do a hello world. And we're gonna save our program. File save. All right, so we have our hello world program here. Now we can come to the terminal again. We can head to my home page, my uh, home page, <laughs> home directory which is, I'm already there. Uh, we can go to my desktop. We can find that file. You can see hello, hello AXX here. So once you're in the directory, you can just run it by doing elixir hello.axs. And if it works in the next line, it's gonna display the string that we put in there. So if you come back here and hit enter, you'll see that we have the expected output. Hello world program completed. Um, a detail here is that you can also do this uh, with parentheses as you usually do in many languages like this, right? If we do this, save our program, come here, run it again. 
it's it's also going to work. But when it's in, in Elixir, you can omit this if you think it's a better if it's more readable like this, you can you can omit the parenthesis. Note that we also don't need a semicolon like this. We well actually you don't have a semicolon for you know for each instruction in Elixir. So so yeah. So there you go. That's our basic hello world program. Um, there's not much to it. And I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. And until next time. Take care and happy brewing.